Hi, welcome to simplyscuba.com. Today we're going to be doing an advice video on how to fit a new neck seal onto your dry suit. It's a situation we've all been in before. You've tore the, the neck seal on your dry suit and you've got to decide whether to send it away to get it done or maybe have a crack at it yourself. So we're going to give it a go here today. We've never done it before, so we're going to a bit of a learning curve as well and find out how easy it is to use one of these kits. This is one of the kits we do supply here at Simply Scuba. This is an Aqua full seal kit. Comes with everything you need to refit your, your neck seal and also has a couple of cuff seals in there as well. So a great little kit. Got a full set of instructions in there as well. So we're gonna follow those as closely as we can. The only difference we have between the instructions and the suit we have here today is we do have a neoprene neck collar on. So there's gonna be a few variations of how to go about doing this. But we'll tackle those as we go along. Some of the things we have done prior already, we have removed the old ripped neck seal off the suit. We'll show you how we got through that in a bit. And then obviously we're going to attach all those extra bits and pieces on and see how easy it is to do. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the suit itself first. So to speed the process up, we've already gone ahead and taken off the old ripped neck seal. As we said before, it does have a neoprene collar on the outside here, so we've had to turn the suit inverted just so we can get access to it. Very simple to do though. Literally all we had to do was there was a section of tape that went around the internal section of the neck seal. To get this off, literally took a hair dryer, went to where the seam joined, held the hair dryer over it for a, a minute or so just to heat up the glue so it becomes a little bit more supple and then literally it's just a case of tearing it off. This does take quite a while, so it's a, it's a bit meticulous, but once you do have it off, it makes the rest of the process nice and easy. You can do it a slightly different way as well. Instead of taking off this tape and removing the neck seal, you can just cut the neck seal just above the tape line, which makes it come off a lot easier. And then literally you just stick the new seal over the top of that neck. If we take a look at what comes in the pack, as I said before, you've got everything you need in there to repair the neck seal and also the cuffs as well. Obviously everything all in one bag. So we just take off the top section. So in here you'll find your replacement neck seal. We've also got two replacement cuff seals in here as well. So obviously one for each arm. You also get a section of taping that goes over the top as well. This is just extra bit of sealant just to stop that water from getting in. Full set of instructions for both the cuff and the neck. Again, the more taping section that's for the neck seal. Some small sections of sandpaper. This is just so you can sand down the, the section where you want to glue all together. It just gives it a bit more of an easier surface for the glue to adhere to. A little section of chalk so you can mark everything out. You also get two tubes of the aqua contact glue as well. So as I said, everything inside there to attach your neck seal and also a set of cuffs. One of the things that it mentions inside the instructions as well for fitting the neck seal is that you are going to need to make this surface nice and flat. Now the way they've described about doing this is cutting out some sections of cardboard into about a inch diameter circle. The thicker you can make it the better the stronger it has to be really. They've laminated sections of it with some bits of parcel tape just to make it a bit stronger and this then goes underneath the main part of here. Bungee cord it together to make it nice and tight and flat and then it makes a nice even flat surface for you to work off. Now, as we said, we'll obviously go through all these sections in a, in a bit, but it does help to go ahead and make your, your cardboard circle to begin with. So, really simple to do, just take some nice, thick, chunky, corrugated card, cut out the circles. We've used two here just to give that extra bit of thickness, and then just some bits of tape there just to give it that extra bit of rigidity. So, that's everything we're going to need to put the next seal on. So, if we go ahead and start prepping, so we can make a start on putting this next seal on. So, as we mentioned before, because the suit we've got here has one of the neoprene collars in, we're going to have to invert the suit to be able to attach the neck seal. Now obviously if your suit doesn't have one of these neoprene collars, you can obviously keep everything the right way around, makes life a little bit easier, but as we said, because of this we'll have to invert it. So we've turned the suit inside out, flip it all in the other way. I'm going to take our cardboard disc and just slot it inside the suit, and if we can do up the zip, You have to do it all the way up obviously, this is just to give a bit more tension around the neck area. We can then position that disc inside 
and then bunch up the rest of the suit underneath which is going to create a nice flat even surface. So as you can see here, this is going to make this area a lot easier to work on. The flatter you can get this, the better as well, because obviously any kind of bumps and grooves are going to take a little bit more work to be able to get the next seal to adhere nice and flat to the suit. The idea of this is then, grab yourself a bungee cord. Got to set down here. Make sure then you can wrap one of these around the collar. Just all the way around the neck. So as we said, the idea is to get this as flat as you possibly can. This might take a little bit of work to do, but all very beneficial in the end. So I think that's probably the best we're going to get that, the way this is. A little bit of reworking around the top. I think a little bit more tightening and that would probably be perfect. So we'll take a bit of a closer look about the, the area that we're going to attach the next seal to and go a bit more into detail as well. So the next step we need to do is just to align the next seal. Just make sure it's going to fit nicely around the top of the dry suit. As we said before, if this was a normal standard suit without the collar, this would all be done around the other way. So you take your next seal, actually line it up over the top and the idea is then to follow the line of where the original neck seal was and just make sure the replacement one will fit nice and snugly up against where the previous one was. Now, if you find it doesn't, maybe if it's too far over one side or perhaps this section's slightly bigger, this is where you'd use the chalk that comes provided. You can mark off on top of the neck seal roughly where you want to make a cut and then you trim off the neck seal so it fits nicely onto the top of the suit. Luckily, the section we have here seems to fit in nicely where the previous one was. The only difference we are going to have to do is because we've inverted the suit, we are going to have to invert the next seal as well. Obviously, this is obvious by the numbering on the inside. This is going to be placed on the inside of the next seal, not the outside. And also the ribbing's a bit more prominent on there as well. So that's the best way to determine which way round it's gone. So again, same kind of situation. It's just a case of making sure everything's going to line up nicely. So just a quick check all the way around. It looks like we should be okay with this one. Now obviously when you're attaching the neck seal, you are going to want to be able to stretch it ever so slightly when you are sticking it down. This extra bit of stretch just improves the seal from the neck seal to the suit. So it's just going to stop any of that extra water from getting in. So that's something else you do and just need to consider when lining up that giving that extra bit of stretch, you're not going to end up with a big bunch of extra ne neck seal to one side. If this doesn't be the case, you might actually have to stretch out the line of where the end of the neck seal is going to go, just to compensate for that extra bit of stretch. So the next step, we're just going to sand down around the top part of the neck seal, make sure it's nice and rough so the glue's got something to adhere to, and then we're going to apply the first layer of glue. So let's first give it a quick sand down. So the next section is preparing neck seal to be glued to the suit. So we always just pop the suit off to one side. Slightly more complicated way of doing this is literally not just a case of applying a bit of glue and slapping it on. The glue works in two different parts. The idea is first to put a, a first base layer down on not only the neck seal, but also the suit as well. You then wait for this to go tacky and then, and then apply another layer of glue to the top of the dry suit, which will adhere the neck seal nice and tightly. The only problem we do have when applying to the, the neck seal specifically is that when the glue does start to go tacky and dry, it will make the neck seal all curl up and bunch up. So what they specify in the instructions is that you first tack the neck seal down to something flat and solid. So the idea is that you'd put a very small, thin layer of glue just around the rim of the neck seal. You then tack this down, so as you said, something flat and solid and then you're able to apply a layer of glue around the section that you're going to adhere to the suit. It all does sound slightly complicated, but once you actually go ahead and do it, it does make perfect sense. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Obviously, we can't stick it to this table. My boss will go mental if I end up sticking a neck seal to the top of his brand new table. So we'll go off and do this elsewhere. And then once we've done that, we can then show you how to apply the glue to the top of the dry suit. So here we have a, another old tabletop that we've got here in the studio. 
It does mention in the instructions you can use anything, maybe if you've got an old chopping board or an old tea tray, anything like that. Anything that's going to be flat and sturdy to work on. We've wiped this down, give it a bit of a, a brush off as well, get any of the old dust off so it's a nice clean surface as well. And then as we said, the idea is to apply just a thin layer of glue around the top of the next seal. So, you should just take the cap off the glue. In just a case then, just a very thin line. So the only, the idea of this is literally just to tack it to the tabletop just to prevent it from curling up as, it, as the top coat dries. And just to give a nice flat, even surface to work on. The glue doesn't dry instantly, so you don't have to rush this. Take your time. All it needs is just this thin layer around the very edge of the next seal to prevent it from curling up, as we said before. So that's that section done, pop the lid back on the glue, carefully flip this over and just flatten it out. So as we said just use a, a flat dry surface, probably advisable something you use that you're not going to worry about if it gets damaged, so as you said, an old chopping board, a tea tray. If you've got an old flat surface like we've got here, anything like this would be ideal. And then the idea is we just stick it down like we've done here. This then gives you a nice even flat surface to apply the layer of glue that's actually going to be tacked onto the, the side of the dry suit. So we've got a, a rough idea of the thickness of the glue that we're going to make a strip of. Obviously, we don't just want a case of just flicking this round onto here because it could go all over the place in the end. So what we've come up with is an applicator. We've taken an old bit of plastic card, cut it to the size of the strip that we're going to end up applying to the top of the next seal. And this is going to give us a nice even coat all the way around the top. So again, the sheet just taking off the section of the glue. Again, applying a layer on top of here. using our little homemade squeegee, can then flatten this out really nice and evenly. So this will get a bit messy, obviously as we said before, use that surface that you're not all that bothered about ruining. So we've just used this flexible bit of card, you could use anything really, maybe a, an old lolly stick or if you have got an old a credit card sized piece of plastic, just apply that on. It does just make it a lot easier to apply the glue, everything goes on a, a nice thin coating, everything's even and flat. And as we said before, the idea of this is to leave this for it to go tacky. Now it doesn't actually mention on the instructions how long this takes. So we're obviously just going to leave it now and see how it gets on. I'll obviously let you know how long it's taken us for this to dry. And obviously it goes without saying as well, make sure you've been doing this in a well ventilated area. Because you don't want to be inhaling the fumes from the glue. Nice little spot on the back here. And that's that section done.